Replacing faces with surfaces. So Inventors allows us to take a model, a solid model, and replace one of the faces with a surface or a work plane. So here I have a solid model here, an extrusion, and I'm going to replace it with a surface. Now, the surface here is actually been uh, two splines. I got a spline here and a spline here that they were created uh, by sweeping those two sp splines. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the top of this face with this whole surface. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our surface panel in our 3D model tab. We're going to go up to replace face. So I'm going to click on replace face. It'll ask me for the existing face. So I'm going to pick the top of the of the extrusion. So I pick that top. Now I want a new face. So I pick on the new face. I'm going to come over here, pick on this new face. Now. What's going to happen is it's going to remove material and it's going to add material. The main difference between splitting a part in Inventor is splitting only removes material and does not add a material. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to calculate and it then now has created this part. All right, so I can spin this thing around and you can see it's having a flat top I have now a new surface on that particular part all right so I've replaced the face with a surface and I did that up here with the replace face command